swimming has really just taught me to be hardworking and that I'm honestly never happy unless I'm challenging myself. I really have found that swimming has made me the person I am in terms of being that person that puts everything into an activity or an event um, because I feel like that unless I try my best, I won't feel like I got everything that I needed out of it. And I just feel like hardworking is a trait that I've taken from the sport. It's really one of the characteristics that I hope to continue to have later on in my life, even after I'm done swimming, and I hope to implement it in whatever I'm doing after school. So originally I was born in Minnesota. My family is from Minnesota as well. And we um, moved to Florida when I was a young age. And um, I had some memories of the snow and stuff like that. But, you know, grew up in Florida. Um, grew up though around my family who's from Minnesota and, you know, kind of had that Minnesota accent, you know, Minnesota personality. And I've always loved it. I've spent my summers up here as a kid and just really enjoyed the environment and the people around it. Um, so when I visited here, I just I kind of felt at home, you know, it didn't feel really any different than my home life at Florida in terms of the people I was around. In terms of early memories, what I really remember is having meets at my home pool because they were kind of like big events during the summer, especially you would just go and as a little kid, you know, your parents would be there and they'd help you put your cap on. They'd help you, you know, OK, this is your race and you would write your event on your arm with Sharpie and stuff like that. And on your back, you'd write, eat my bubbles. So I really remember that as a kid and probably at the time didn't think it was a really like good memories, but I've really, when I reflect on it, you know, it's great memories. You know, as a kid, you're just racing other people in such a casual manner. And if I had known at the time what it would grow, what it, you know, what it would become, it would obviously about be a lot different. But that's probably one of the earliest memories I have of it, especially that just the Sharpie, you know, you can smell the chlorine can smell the sunscreen around you, you know, that's probably one of the things that really stick out for me. Um, anytime I smell chlorine, honestly, it just brings back a lot of memories. So my major is computer science, so I'm a little bit of a nerd. I really like to play video games in my spare time. Um, Pokemon is kind of one of my favorite things. It's something I've incorporated into my other job as an RA. Um, it's my theme for my floor. I also really like Minecraft. It's kind of nerdy to say, but it's something that I also spend a lot of time on, um, which seems really weird. I feel like, especially at the age I am now, I never thought that I would be that passionate about it. But anything that I can use to um, unwind stuff with video games is really nice. I also really like to have like a creative outlet, paint or draw is something I really like to do, or you know, make bracelets, stuff like that is something I like to do in my spare time. I don't know if I want to write like how they get to like click click like you know how we sometimes you write yeah. like button I mean they're all buttons I guess so so it doesn't yeah. matter so for my um, software engineering class we, it's just like a capstone class we also developed a website for students to use and with this website what they were able to do um, is basically you're an incoming freshman is the idea and you were able to input your information and it's called a roommate finder you would input all the information in for your classes and the type of person you were, where you were living, and you would basically, it would spit out information as to other people you could find. Um, we did this just in the interest of, you know, having less roommate transfers, being an RA. I know that's something that's quite, that happens quite often. So we decided that we wanted to make an application that would kind of reduce that. Um, and we finished that a couple months ago. Um, we're still in the process of talking to ResLife about getting it implemented, but um, it, it is something, a, a useful prospect, and I did learn a lot with that project. In high school, I just was really drawn to the coding side of things for computers and really just loved it and always had, you know, I have a DS at home, a Wii, stuff like that with the basics kind of in terms of video games and was always intrigued by it. Um, and then as I developed into more like PC games, like stuff on your laptop, I always thought to myself, like, how was this made? And I've just absolutely loved learning more and more about it and learning more about the field in general. What I really like about our computer science program is that they really truly start you at your, the basics, you know, and even the first semester you think like, this is stuff I know, but it's perfect in the way that they develop you to grow and allow you to grow. 
Um, with computer science, it's really important to get your basics down. It's really important for you to not only understand the computer side of things, but also understand the math side of things. And you know, just having those background classes my freshman and sophomore year were really helpful for me. And with the with the um, advisors that I've had, they've done nothing but help me in any areas that I've had issues with. There are plenty of resources that SMSU has in terms of tutoring services that are really useful, especially as you dive into those deeper classes, those level 300, those level 400 classes. It's been really helpful to have not only um, other students be around you and supporting you, um, but also have those teachers be around you and support you. Um, Computer science is kind of like a smaller class in terms of um, SMSU, in terms of the majors as well, but it's really nice because you're kind of growing up with the same people and you kind of know um, you have that really good background in terms of, you know, oh, this is somebody I can go and talk to for that just because you know everybody in your class and it's almost like a big friend group in a sense. The reason why I hope to continue my, um, my education at SMSU is just because I already feel like I've built up a foundation here. You know, I've built up a family a built up of community that I know will support me as I continue on um, in my program. And I felt that, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do in computer science. And then SMSU added a cybersecurity certification. I looked into it, became interested in it. And as soon as I became interested in it, they added a master's program. And I said, hey, that's kind of a sign for me. You know, this is absolutely perfect. It's something that I can ease into and, you know, honestly start developing my senior year if I wanted and it just was a perfect fit and I couldn't have asked for things to go better for me.